Hi folks, this is SJS Rana, reporting for January 19, 2022, time about 1300 hours UDC and uh, I'm just going to discuss some of the topics. First come first, we are seeing this new surge with the Omicron B.1.1.529 is making waves uh, combined with uh, COVID-19 variants, Delta and whatnot. So two pandemics simultaneously. Also, we're going to discuss how various other things are impacting uh, globally, humanity and the globe and how things are happening with uh, pedophiles and predators, including the marital rapes, India, government having debate with the courts that why marital rapes are required to be a real rape. So, well, we're going to see a lot of changes and the violent crimes across the globe is increasing with uh, leaps and bounds and uh, recently this uh, Clipping I have added for about 5% of a clipping where we are seeing these uh, incidents occurring across the globe. A lot of fraudulent, fraudulence and uh, criminal cartel activities going because of the pandemic after effects. And how it's going to shape up the humanity now because the Omicron is denting not only the uh, people mindset but it seems like the economy is also faltering. You know, you see these uh, uh, GDP numbers from uh, emerging markets, India, Indonesia, Brazil, Russia, China, it's denting. However, India is having the worst impact because the worst performing currency of the Asia. India rupee is the worst performing currency now for many, many years. And this is basically going on to become some sort of uh, another problem for India to cope up with. So how the violent crimes are occurring across, uh, let's uh, take a listen to this clip where we find the young lady was in Los Angeles brutally murdered while she Former was working in a furniture store. So let's Fox listen News to this clip. Ted Williams joins me now. Ted, I'd like to always get your overall assessment. You've had a you know some time to look at this uh, and, and, and just to get your thoughts on, on what happened here and what might have prevented it. Uh, Charles, first, sir, if I could, let me offer my deepest condolences to the Cuffer family. This young lady, Brianna Cuffer, was just a wonderful, radiant person who had gone to the University of Miami and got an undergraduate degree, and now she was at UCLA getting a graduate degree, and she was working at this high-end furniture store. And for all, from all that we're able to see and have been told, an individual who was homeless came in and killed her. Now, what they're looking at, Charles, is his clothes that he was wearing. Mm -hmm. As you can see, he had all black on and was pretty well camouflaged. But there are other videos of him being in other stores in that area that they are also looking at. They're looking at the manner in which he walked. Uh, there, and they do believe, and I have. and time about 12.30 hours UDC so again many topics so what first come first we're going to discuss on 1994 PC1 just passed closes uh, the most closest 
approach we can see and it's going to be almost almost 157 years before we see it returning and other comets which we see scheduled ahead but this was uh, not a comet but this was an asteroid which was uh, pretty close I guess now what we have is uh, the effects of this is going to be felt because it's going to go and circle around through the Venus it's going to pass so as I predicted uh, yesterday on my video released yesterday that they, we're going to see some sort of interactions with the sun and so some flares we are expecting uh, basically pointing to earth as well and that's going to cause some g1 g2 g3 maybe uh, you know geometric magnetic storms okay and from that we move on to the topic which is what i have to get onto this video and uh, release this youtube content is the basically the the way the pandemic has spent for almost three years is shaping up a lot of things now not only the the people are more uh, worried for their family or for themselves like if they contract a virus what they should be doing and uh, what are going to be future mutations but now we're finding another thing which is uh, the byproduct of this pandemic is basically because people are out of jobs or people don't have the way to get the livelihood because many of the people who are living on rent to rent basis they don't have a uh, home homeless people also you know we have to take care of them but what's going on is that uh, the cartel the criminal cartels are picking up these people and they're deploying them to murder people and uh, commit violent, violent crimes and there's a recent uh, uptick everywhere across the globe and we see these people are being employed by these agents or these agencies or these uh, different cartels who are basically asking these homeless people or people who are under uh, stress of finance you know to uh, commit murders you know, Bulgari, even thefts, uh, imposters, impersonators, even, you know, uh, they are trying to entice, entangle females. And there's a whole mafia working, especially in India, where the phone, phone spoofing technology is allowed and which permits these uh, imposters, impersonator cartel, you know, there's a lot of fake centers working here in India, fake call centers, which are basically having information of some number and they uh, spoof that number to the spoofing technology. And then they call to the females and then start gang raping them or entice them, then entangle them, you know, a lot of things are coming daily. If you see those reports are there and it's just like 10% of what they report, but it's like uh, the most horrendous crimes are going now. And we expect more of this to happen across the globe and that's where I'm just trying to stress upon that uh, the vigilance, the cops, the the DA department, you know, across the globe are getting activated now. They're finding more and more criminal activities and uh, we expect this to have uh, much more impact now because pandemic is still in progress. India today for January 19, 2022 registered almost above 280 k cases yeah so it's a huge number and it's inconsistent with uh, the daily uptick and this is basically something they have never seen before so it's like uh, surging to eight times higher than the previous uh, uh, wave or even call it second wave of india this is the third wave ongoing and a uh, lot of pundits of india expert uh, were claiming that oh there'll be no third wave and if you go back, look at my videos, look at my contents, look at my one WordPress dot WordPress dot com, I have always predicted third wave is going to be phenomenal. It's going to be disastrous, you know, because, you know, over here in India, it's very common. Uh, a lot of uh, pedophiles, predator population, they have an excellent, exceptional teamwork and they are able to get more females enticed with them, you know, because it's a mafia working. So it's like uh, same people, many vehicles, same group of people, many vehicles. So the predators over here are having like at least 200, 300 vehicles with them. And, uh, you know, they, they circle around with the vehicles and but the same group of people and they're targeting females one by one. So this is what's going on. And impersonators are very active. Phone spoofing technology is very active. So all these things are, are basically going to become another pandemic uh, inside a pandemic. So we are already going with two pandemics with Omicron and the COVID-19. And we're going to see other pandemic, which is sexual predator virus. Yeah, it's a virus by itself because these people are uh, are having a lot of vehicles with them. They circle around, they race on streets and they keep honking around here and there. You will hear them on your streets very often that these people are racing. Why they are racing? Because they know they want to rape a female and they already enticed. The only thing is the end game they have to play. So they make up some theme, you know. So let's say some female is interested in someone. What they're going to do is they're going to play a game. So that they can snatch that female, rob that female on broad daylight and rape. And then they will circulate with other predators. So it's the same people, you know, many vehicles they have, but same group of people, they'll keep raping females. That's common in India and that's called metaphor games. 
and uh, everywhere in neighborhood they are aware of that but uh, because everybody is enjoying somebody is getting some deal somebody is getting some deal so they are silent because somehow they will get some female or the other female and that's a very common practice here they have left the dating practice they have become like a stone age uh, stone age human beings you know <laughs> uh, like the same phenomenon that used to happen in stone age you know circle around the female and distribute among your predators and uh, the thing is that this is going to create a lot of problems because already these pathogens are craving and these are the ways sexual gratification acts with multiple female is the way pathogens get the easy exist, uh, exit to make a new mutation and that's been well documented fact i'm not just speaking something out of uh, you know blues but these are some well documented fact even every expert medical expert will say yes more uh, close contents, uh, contacts you have, sexual contacts you are going to have produce more pathogens. That's why I keep stressing more on these sexual contacts that to be avoided. But you know over here Indian predator population they don't listen. They say you know everybody is enjoying, even officers are complicit so everybody is enjoying. And India produces one of the worst uh, deadliest pathogens we see from Delta and we are going to see one more coming up very soon because it's already there existing but it's not been identified yet so I predicted on January 17 there will be another mutation and <clears throat> another pathogen sort of thing will occur you know so these things are happening folks because people don't have that guts don't have that uh, what you take the internal spirit you know to internal calmness you know to sustain or to be by yourself you know I have one statement which is circulated uh, widely in the internet I released that statement coined that statement two liners that if you can't enjoy company of yourself you can't have others enjoy company of yourself so that's something which is in fruition right now and if you can't enjoy company of yourself you can't have others enjoy company of yourself simple but people over here are so scared for by themselves that they are always looking for some of the other company and especially over here in India they are stalking, they are entrapping and slaving females like anything because more females over here in India are getting subdued by the financial pressure you know uh, even uh, recently India government has stated that more uh, marital discord more you know uh, uh, you know you call it a domestic violence is occurring most cases are happening and most of these cases in lockdown in the pandemic because of many other factors uh, however these females don't get a scope to uh, report or to go ahead with the uh, you know prosecution and because everybody is having a financial crunch and even the courts are not working functionally fine even recently there was a news I just submitted on the net uh, two days back that more than 450 staffers of India courts you know over here in Punjab High Court of uh, Chandigarh and local over here are getting infected and they are suffering the the uh, viruses. Imagine the judges are also suffering. Why? Because you know the sexual predator population are set loose now, and they have a free hand. Uh, you know these they are producing more and more mutations and they are enjoying most of the time. And that's the worrisome situation. So I want to highlight that this is a pandemic which is growing and we're going to see more effects uh, later on. I mean it's just the beginning. Uh, you're going to see the real movie after some time. And also we're going to see how GDP is going to fall down even right now all the pundits of India were claiming that they were having 12% GDP FY22-23 but now they're all come down toned down to 8% now and that was my original prediction in 2020 beginning of 2020 that India is going to see around 8% GDP if not 7% and they were saying no we are 13% so well this is how it happens folks I tell the facts they hate me. That's a hate crime in India. You know, I'm going to attach some of the videos here, which uh, I just saw reported on January 13, 2022. Somebody barged in my home, touched past openly, and I'm going to release that uh, another footage from the other angle. And this is what the worrisome situation is. You know, we don't know. We don't want to interact basically unless you have called, you have a phone contact, or you know a person. And somebody barges into your house, you are basically getting into some involvement that what's going on. You never know, you know, there are so many issues going around over here because of the pandemic that you just want to focus on yourself or your, your, your good thing, your family, whatever you have. I live alone, I will live by myself because I am well focused within myself. I don't need somebody else to complete me, you know, that's the whole theory. I keep saying, you know, if you can't enjoy a company of yourself, you can't have others enjoy a company of yourself. So that, that person are very rare on planet Earth, in fact who can just enjoy company of themselves. But people over here hate those people. 
that's the hate crime over here especially where i live in sasnagar mohali uh, sexual predators are given the first preference you know everybody likes sexual predators here because they see well they're serving a lot of people you know i don't know what they have the mentality but the mindset is changing okay another topic which i've discussed last on the marital rape so this is going on with india india government is uh, going back and forth with india courts that why marital rapes have to be formulated now but india courts are uh, watching for the rights of females that you know this is something they have to they have to consider now it's enough is enough and even some political political parties i'm just don't name lot many times but this time because they are going for a good thing so there's a political party india congress which is watching in fact their leadership you know rahul gandhi i guess is watching for them that you know this is something which we will put in our manifesto if we come to power we are going to make sure the marital rapes are big as are counted as a real rape and uh, they will be clause under article or section 376 of india ipc so under 376 uh, we going to see marital rapes if congress party comes to power that's what their promise is i don't go much beyond the other manifesto because i don't even uh, subscribe any party i don't say anything on any party i'm very neutral because my part is to work for humanity you know and this is when i see some somebody doing a good job or saying something good i just try to bring in my click that's the whole thing okay another thing which we want to watch now is by the end of this month january you're going to see a lot of different situations arising you know a lot of different problems with the uh, with the quake with the earth rumbling with the weather pattern and especially the water disasters so this is what we're going to see and be careful when you venture out because these uh, predators these criminals mafia cartel is watching you the moment you step out of the house especially what you observe over here they are watching your every move because they are trying to entangle you they want to basically siphon money from you some of the other way and metaphor games over here are one of the way where they are fooling the whole world and say oh everybody is involved well only predators and pedophiles over here locally are involved in playing this game only pedophiles nobody else they are subscribing to them and females Uh, some reason they love pedophiles over here so they never you know where is the where is the where is the claim from a female saying okay we found this pedophile we have seen abstain maxwell case which is circulated around the world where have you found all right so i keep updating and some of the snaps i just keep adding because i'm just trying to give up some of the heads up how things are going to come up for future as uh, the pandemic rolls in for 2022 and not only the gdp impacted but people are feeling the crunch they are committing crimes now they join the cartels that's what the problem is because consumer confidence is is dipping as well as uh, consumer are consuming more often because of staying inside or not having the ways to uh, divert their mind that's the problem over here so you see this gdp forecast from forbes just like two days back i was Uh, reading all this and this is been released like you can see how it is falling down from earlier prediction of 11% to 12% gdp fy 22 23 but now it's around 8% who knows you know it's going to be much lower so folks all these are coming up and i keep updating these events this was my forecast already if you go back and look at my prior articles you know go back like a year back two years back i already predicted that india gdp will not be more than 8% and this has come to fruition now so things happen after 2 3 years and people forget that's how it happens uh, with me i just keep predicting things and uh, you know even epstein uh, maxwell conviction i predicted that maxwell would get convicted uh, way before 2 4 5 4, weeks before and in fact in very earlier also stages uh, and all these things because i'm just trying to come up to see how humanity is going to sh- shape up with uh, all these challenges coming up and the other thing is that we are to come out of this pandemic if we have to then we must have concerted effort and the way it happens is that you start basically focusing inside and try to have strong mind body spirits and other thing is that you need to very 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 humble and you must understand that the sexual predator population enjoying multiple females across especially over here in india it's very prevalent that these are they are the real number one cause of causing mutations across the planet
within yourself try to see find the right contents the right information is very important in today's day and age because a lot of obfuscation a lot of uh, imposters impersonators are trying to steal rob you of everything you know identity frauds what not is going on so always uh, you can always check on this uh, email updates which i sent through my uh, email id at which is sjsrana at yahoo.com. Also, I use sjsrana at gmail.com. I further also use surander.ocp at gmail.com. And always on my word, word, uh, WordPress site, which is onewordpress.wordpress.com, you can have a take a look at it. Always contact me on my Instagram if you want to at instagram.com slash sjsrana. And Facebook is fb.com trust one must